morning my followers and loved ones thank you so much for sharing the video and subscribing to my youtube channel please when you come just subscribe to the youtube channel like the video and kindly help me share this video across board as usual i am james Oheme, and today's lesson we are going to learn how to calculate your company income tax. Calculation of company income tax comes with different components. Before even you can submit your statement to uh, Ghana Revenue Authority, there are certain things you need to understand. You just you can't just stand up one day and get to the office and say, "Oh, GRE, I make a profit of two cities." So I want to pay my income tax, my company income tax. GRE doesn't accept that. Before GRE accepts, you need to prove yourself. And it is not by words of mouth that you know how to talk. So you are going to convince the officers they know. They are trained officers who have experience in doing their business. So before you can get to GRE office, you need to have your income statement showing how your business was done. How can you prepare your income statement? Before you can prepare your income statement, there are components that comes together to form that income statement. One of these components are your total sales. How to get your total sales? It's very simple. You have a GRE inv uh, a voice inv uh, VAT invoice, sorry. You have a GRE VAT invoice. GRE VAT invoice are invoices that are used to record your total sales at the end of each day. When you sum all those amounts or those money together, then you, that is in your, your VAT book or your VAT invoice together, the money that you come, that outcome is called your sales. Sales is earned in different streams. We have one, the, the goods that you are selling, the physical goods or product that you are selling, that physical goods is one side of the sales. You may be a company who like investment in other businesses. So those businesses that you have invested, the money or the income that comes out from that businesses, those income too are part of your sales. When you total those income together, you arrive at your total income. In GRE, we call it accessible income after getting your accessible income you also need to know something we call the open stock people may ask what is open stock it's very simple open stock is the stock that you were not able to sell in the previous year assuming that you bought a hardware to sell and uh, during that year, we all bear witness that no company can sell all his goods. A year then, year then, a be better. So they left over goods that you wasn't able to sell in less assuming 2021. Those open goods in this current year, that is 2022, it becomes your open stock. Let's move forward. In every business, in the current year, the open stock alone cannot feed your customers so you need to buy other goods in addition to your goods you have available all the total goods that you bought from january to december that total goods are called your purchases moreover when you buy those goods i don't think uh, the goods itself will, will vanish to your destination there are some costs you will incur people who load the goods, people who offload the goods, the transportation from the supplier's end to your destination, they are all, when you combine them together, they are called carriage invoice. Moreover, after your carriage invoice, there are certain things to, you need to know. When every company is doing business, you bear with me that there are goods and sometimes you sell goods to customers and they may return those goods due to one or two conditions. When those goods that they return to your company is called return 
inwards. The same thing applies to the, the owner or the company. When the company returns any goods to its supplier, it is called return outwards. For the meantime, these are the key words. And moreover, we have something we call direct expenses. Direct expenses are the expenses that a business incur, the total expenses that a business incur, like rent, light bill, telephone uh, charges, and other stuffs that a business incur at the end of that accounting year. These are the, some of the components that you may need before you can prepare your income statement. After preparation of the income statement, you could see that there are two things. When you list your cost of sales from this total sales, the amount remaining is called your gross profit. When you deduct your expenses from your gross profit, the remaining amount is called your net profit. In GRE, we call that net profit our chargeable income. So based on that chargeable income, you will be able to calculate for the company income tax. Bear in mind to keep all receipts intact. Like make sure that all the receipts, the you buy fuel, you take your uh, your receipt, anything that you do, including even the payments you make to uh, workers or any wages. There is different between salary and wages. Wages is like you contracted someone to come to your business and work for you within some short period of time. Then after. The person has done with everything, you pay the person something. Don't forget to withhold tax on the payment that you are giving to the person or the, that, that, that client because GRA is interested in that withholding tax as well. You need to also to prove to GRA that this is the receipt testifying that I contracted this person, Susu and Su, to come and work in my business and I pay him this amount. You need to also have a, a pay rule presenting to GRE that this is the amount or the salary that you pay to your workers. Every individual, uh, let's say, word or every individual item in the financial statement must have a receipt to embark your claim. You can't just stand up and go to GRE, present any forgery uh, bank statement or financial statement to GRE, telling GRE that this is my income. They also come to an audit and testify that what you are saying is true. So to be sincere to yourself, prevent uh, information or income statement that is not misleading. If you present income statement that is misleading, you are finding yourself into another issue. You need to do things in order. If you don't have an accountant, try to get one. If you need my assistant, I'll be ready to support you. After all, let's set the ball rolling. We are going to prepare the income statement. After the income statement, I will now go on to teach you how to prepare the company income task. Just stay with me within this one hour video because I'm going to take my time to explain things to you for you to understand. I love you all. We are going to go through the calculations. So please bear in mind and follow me because it is not difficult, but a little bit complicated. So let's set the ball rolling. How to calculate? How to prepare? your company income tax. Income statement. Let's start with the income statement first before the company income starts. That is how to prepare how to prepare your company income statement so in preparation of income statement it comes with a topic that is one income you first write your company's name let me use my company's name or Henry James Enterprise income 
Tam Statement. As at. As at 31st December 2022. This is just an example. So you underline it neatly. Uh, because nowadays we use from uh, softwares to make the preparation of the income statement. This one will not come. Just that just is a practical aspect, and I need to let you know how it is done. So without the software, you can even know how to prepare. So we are in this topic. We are going to prepare how to prepare your company income statement. Let's the company name. We are taking on James Enterprise. So the income. Statement will be Ohemi James Enterprise income statement as at 31st December 2022. It means that the year ending 2022, this is the income statement Ohemi James presented to or present to JRA. It's just an example. It's just an example. So you write your CD sign on top of the statement. Before I explain to you what it says means the total uh, revenue or the total income of your company so let's see that our total income of our company we have our sales figure to be let's see it's 500 it's example 500,000 Ghana cities the company have other income he has made another investment as well so your other income is let's say 200,000 Ghana cities so aside that, you sum this together, you get 700,000 Ghana cities. 700,000 Ghana cities. That is called the total sales of the company. Total sales of the company is this amount. So when you have a negative, it means your total sales for that accounting year was 500,000 Ghana cities. Your other income from other investment is 200,000 Ghana cities. It's not necessary that every company have other income. Some companies, they only have the sales. They don't have other income. You will stick to the sales that the company produce at the end of the year. Some companies have only the sales as their figure. They don't have other income. But I'm just using this as an example. In case you have other income, you sum all the income together and show it on your income statement that this is your other income. When you add the total sales to uh, the other income, the money remaining is called your total, total sales. That is your total sales or total income. Total sales or your total income. I, I also told you that this one you need to less assuming a customer of a third year you less this return or return in was let's assume your customer will be more better than you will return in goods in him say 100,000 the better will say it be a four to be a day it will and to better if we see in him uh, total income name. Now the abekano. Ba 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 be now on net sales. On net sales. And now say net income. JRE, you consider this one as the accessible income. To you write it down. JRE, consider this figure as your accessible income. Good. The next thing to do is you less your cost of sales. Before you cost of sales, before you were able to make this sales, there were some component that sum together to help you make this sales. This sales was not just created, but there are some companies who oh, yeah, you know maybe you create one or two things before you arrive at this figure. So those as uh, costs that you incur before you get this sales they are called the cost of sales so one of the cost of sales are like normal to toy or toy okay kaboom total 
says we know and only a friend of cost of sales and to be the same you add your open stock my dick in a country i'm say open stock we say no and i say open inventory we say no hey last year no man or ton ya a big iron the kayan and your friend open stock so the open stock is the remaining balance of or normal and also remaining stock now. Sikano Kabuma, Sa stock on Nebuono, and also Sikana Ohono. A Sikani a Trewaha because we are doing calculation in monetary terms, not in stock terms. But a stock now I can go on. The infant said, Okan in Abuma, I'll bet on a hundred thousand. It assumes that all the stock when you combine the, the remaining stock, the money you, you get when you sell. Or when you buy, you are supposed to buy from customers or suppliers. When you are supposed to buy from suppliers, this is the amount that it will worth. That is why you wrote 100,000 Ghana cities as your open stock. And your open stock, as I've explained to you previously, is the closing stock of that year becomes your open stock. It means that this year too, you have a closing stock. It will still come here. Let's see how you handle such. You who we are. Obeto norma, so you add your purchases. Obeto norma, because we ni kwenye timi shonto, nti obeto norma ni biya kahon. Yenfanya sse, ukoto norma three hundred and fifty thousand. Sasa be kahon, Ghana cedis be kahon. Anu nti abe ya obeka bum, tu kabo ma bina four hundred and fifty thousand. Sasa we ni ya cost of goods available for sale, cost of goods available. For sale, but just say goods are now yet ready to be torn. Nini na ano? Aye we, and nini na yet cost of goods are aye available to be torn. So in a way we are all torn yano. Send a car ye, and nini na yet next year open stock. Into yet torn yano. Yet better the car ye na yet day. If we start total cost of goods available for sale, then you de you less the closing stock. Ah, aka for this year, closing stock. From your cost of goods available for sales. In the end, I say this year and your closing stock a car you know. You enter me and talk no more, Papa. In your closing stock a car, hundred and fifty thousand. So all the stuff we ma the remaining are in our account. I bet three hundred thousand. So it means it simply means that we say sir, oh yeah yeah, five hundred thousand. Any other income from other businesses, no. Any when our kaboom na be now two taxes, that is total income for the business. Then in kofobia no what they do muka. Na na so mu ebeto no ma o mu cha de buy. That is you less the sales returns and I say return in wash. No man na o mu beto o mu cha de buy what you remember. Now a hundred thousand and two taxes can free your total sales in ma the ebeka no. Six hundred thousand that is six hundred thousand Ghana cities will be remaining after deducting your return invoice or your total sales from your uh, return your return invoice from your total sales. The remaining balance is six hundred thousand Ghana cities uh, representing the total or the net income or the net sales. Here we are, you move on to you less your cost of sales. The cost of cost of sales are. I can't bear now for us who are with me now. So I know money now. I bet ton ya. We be now income of six six hundred thousand. No. Yes, yes, yes. Do man as no. We were having open stock. Now last year a ton no man. I can hundred thousand. It remains with hundred thousand Ghana cedis. So the last year stock that is this year's open stock was hundred thousand Ghana cedis. Afterwards, you can't sell. You can't feed your customers. Why is it that you will need to buy more? Because if you saw last year goods, you know, it is now not in the system that I knew to that coming people are patronizing. So it is mandatory for you to go and buy additional ones. That is why you add the purchases. No matter how cotton or the ones that you buy, you sum it up with the heart, with the open store to get your cost of goods available for sale. And it is our goods are well to say no. Any cost of goods are this year or by the So these goods representing the cost of goods available for sale. Then if you finish this year, what on normal we are close your accounting year and then you stock in the back. So you less your closing stock from the remaining balance and two bet two closing stock now then every cost of goods available for sale. Then the remaining balance here 
becomes the goods now. They can't say the goods you sold. That is goods sold. To your friend, your honey, your friend, the goods sold. Just say no more out on any. And the demand will be the end. The answer is the way. No more out on any. And the demand is the answer is the way. Significantly, you know, the entity expenses in free man. Not just say out that no more out on any. You have your car boom. You know, more to a free total says remaining and our net income the more than the ebe cano and on an old day or gross profit three hundred thousand here becomes your gross profit when you deduct your goods sold that is three hundred thousand from your net sales or your net income then the remaining balance here we call it gross profit gross profit so to arrive at gross profit, you less your co cost of sales from your total sales or your net sales to get your gross profit. Let's continue. Here, you less your expenses. In every business, before the business succeeds, you have some expenses you need to incur. It assumes that you rent a house or you rent some apartment you build apartment everything that you do that contributes or that helps you that was an expense to help you to achieve your aim those expenses must be written down so you have your rent expense so with your rent expense let's assume that our rent was 12,000 Ghana cities for the year me you should expenses debris it's just i won't use expense a, a lot of expenses because we are using this one for education purposes i don't know how your business is like but this is how it is structured so you less your salary total salary paid to workers was let's say it's what forty thousand so you less your salary then let's say you make a telephone course because business we only have one year co and then you have a flu be so you telephone expenses now and also so course how yeah yeah the cost that you make you made during the course of your business the expenses must be written down in fact any expenses that you incur during the course of your operations must come here so here you write five thousand cities for fuel assuming it's five thousand cities for fuel you have a light bill to pay because I don't think in your business there is no light. Every business sometimes we have light to go to the warehouse and other stuff. So those light expenses too, you need to write it down. There are a lot of expenses you can bring here, maintenance, uh, car, depreciation and other stuff. Everything must come here. So when you sum them together, you arrive at 64,000 Ghana cities. So when this is the 4,000 Ghana cities, and here we have 300,000 Ghana cities. If you did that 64,000 Ghana cities from 300 Ghana cities, you come and arrive at your net profit or chargeable, chargeable income. This is your chargeable income. So when you did that this from this, you arrive at two three six thousand two hundred and thirty-six thousand Ghana cities is our chargeable income. In accounting we call it net profit before tax. Now good. Then this figure in accounting we call it net profit before tax and it is also called the chargeable income for GRE is called uh, chargeable income or net profit so this is the chargeable income it simply means that GRE is going to calculate tax on this amount GRE is going to calculate tax on this amount these are the components that sum together this, all these are the components that sum together to arrive at this figure. Okay, now that we have been able to prepare our income statement as at 31st December 2022, therefore, we need to move on. Now we can now prepare 
our company income tax. So how to prepare our company income tax. Company income task. Preparation in this preparation, I'm going to use the graduated pillar, the one you use to prepare that of the monthly one for a sole proprietorship and pay as you earn. The same table is applied here. So, assuming our chargeable income, we are not assuming. We, after the preparation, this is our chargeable income per our example. So our chargeable income, our chargeable income is two thirty six thousand two hundred and thirty six thousand is now our chargeable income. Then with the chargeable income, we need to come down with JRA table. And this is the yearly one because it's a company. So we are using the yearly one. Okay. You know we have costs. We have the chargeable income. Income. We have our rates. Then we have our tasks payable we have our task payable this is the table so with this one the first call is very simple to arrive at the first call let's do a simple calculation here workings here for you to understand workings to get our first call the principle is that for personal one and monthly one, it is 365 cities. Then when we want the yearly one, we will multiply it by 12, which is going to give us 4,380 Ghana cities. So here, the first call is 4,380 Ghana cities. This 4,380 Ghana cities, we will deduct it from this. The government is saying that it is tax free we not suppose the company is supposed to pay this amount the government has just paid this amount to the company free of charge so you first deduct this one from this figure let's do the calculation here when we did that when we did that two three six thousand minus four three eight eighty the total figure we will get how much somebody will help somebody should help me with the calculation this minus this we could two three six thousand minus four four three eight zero i will say do the calculation for me uh, i'm coming let me do the calculation and then key in there oh my phone hold on until he says three two three six zero zero minus four three eight zero then we have two good so you multiply this by this to get this figure which is tax free you won't pay any tax on this figure so tax free normally you write here nil nil so that is zero, 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 zero is the same as nil, nil. You are doing your calculation and then to come, come to a certain conclusion to know the amount you are supposed to pay to GRV. So this calculation uh, is not needed if either you write in your calculation zero or nil. It's all the same. It means that this amount, the company is supposed not to pay tax on this amount. Then this is the remaining figure. The, the loss is that and other round, we also learned that the next call, in the next call, we need to deduct 110 cities from the remaining balance, assuming it is the monthly one. So your 110 cities by 12, which is going to give you, let's say, 1,330. So when you subtract 1,330 from the remaining figure, 
from the remaining figure 1330 from the remaining figure we will get 320300 good 230300 then you write here 1320 it means 110 times 12 will give you 1320 then that one the government says we should charge 5% tax on this particular figure and 5% of this is 66 Ghana cities then we move on to the next call the next call we all bear with me that we said on the monthly basis 130 the next 130 multiply by 12 which we will end at 1560 then you did that 1560 from this remaining figure 1560 from the remaining figure 560 from the remaining figure and we are getting 228740 as the remaining figure then you write here the next call 1560 someone should calculate 10% on 1560 for me and I think we are going to get 156 we are going to arrive at 156 then we move to the next call The next course is that 3,000 cities, the next 3,000 cities. Since this is a company one, you multiply by 12, and 3,000 by 12 will give us 36,000 Ghana cities. So 36,000 Ghana cities will be written down here. 36,000 Ghana cities, and the rate is 17.5%. So 17.5% of 36,000 Ghana cities is 6,300. Good. Then we move to the next one. The next one is saying that the next 16,000. So let's deduct that 36,000 from this amount. That is 36,000 from this amount. And the total figure is going to give us, please do your calculation. So it's going to give us one nine two seven four zero one nine two seven four zero we all know that the next call we are supposed to multiply sixteen thousand three hundred and ninety five by twelve and for that one it's bigger the results will be bigger than this figure so there is no need to go ahead if you multiply this by this, automatically the results will be bigger than our remaining figure. Then here we write our remaining figure 192740. And that is 25%. So if you multiply this amount by 25%, we are going to arrive at 48,185 Ghana cities. 48,185 Ghana cities. Then you total this figure to get the total amount you are supposed to pay as tax. That is 66 plus 156 plus 6300 plus 48185. That is 54707. Ghana cities. This simply means that your company income tax, your company income tax for the year ending 20, 31st December 2022 is 554,707 Ghana cities. This is the total amount you are supposed to pay a tax to JRE if you are a company. So this is how we calculate company income tax. Let me go back again. Someone may ask, where do we get the chargeable income from? The chargeable income was ascertained by doing our, uh, by preparing our income statement as at 31st December 2022, and with that. We assume that our sales figure was 500,000 
other income was 200,000. When we sum this together, we will arrive at our total sales or total income of 700,000. There, we list our sales returns, the goods that our customers return to us or return in was, which was 100,000 Ghana cities. And we get our net sales or our net income of uh, 600,000 Ghana cities. We want to get our gross profit from this end. To our gross profit, we list our cost of sales. And our open stock for that year was 100,000 Ghana cities. We buy some goods from our clients, and those goods we bought, we bought it, we bought it at a price of 350,000 Ghana cities. That is the purchases we made for the current year. When you add them together, the amount you get here, that is 450,000 Ghana cities, is the cost of goods available for sales. These are the goods we are going to sell. So the cost of goods available for sales. We list our closing stock, that is the, the closing stock for this year, this current year, the goods we were not able to sell was assuming that we were having 150,000. So we list the 150,000 from the 450,000 and we will arrive at 300,000 Ghana cities. That is the goods sold. These goods represent the total goods the company were able to sell within the accounting year. When we did that, the total goods from the profit or the income, the remaining balance becomes our gross profit. It means that gross profit simply means that no deduction, no expenses has been deducted. That is our gross profit. With the gross profit, then you need to list your operation expenses or your expenses from the gross profit. I take these few expenses because it is just an example for you to understand how it is being done. So we have our rent. We assume that our rent for the year is 12000 we assume that we pay all our workers at the end of the year, we are supposed to pay 40,000. 40, we assume that our telephone expenses was 2,000. We assume that our fuel expenses was 5,000. We assume that our light bill was 5,000. But please, this statement is not prepared on absorption. You need to get a proof to embark your claim. Like if you say you pay a rent of 12,000, you need to get tenancy agreement letter. A copy to present to JR in case they ask. If you say you have paid a salary of 40,000, you need to also get a payroll of the payment to present to the JR office to show them that I'm pa I make a payment of 40,000 to my workers. Your telephone expenses, all the credit card you bought for the business, you need to keep them in contact so that you present them to JR that this is the total credit I bought for my business this year. Your fuel, when you buy fuel from any uh, filling station, take a receipt and then the receipt, when you sum them up, you get some figure like this. That is a uh, example. So you can arrive at something like this. It's normal. Then you take your light bill, the bills that you've been paying. This Nowadays, we have prepaid and when you buy prepaid, they give you receipt. You need to keep them to tell you that this is this is how I came arrived this money as my expenses. Then you deduct your expenses from your gross profit to arrive at your next profit or chargeable income. This chargeable income or next profit is also known as net profit before tax. So this profit we have not charged tax on. This is how we manage to get our chargeable income. Good. After the chargeable income, we use a method in GRE called the graduation period. Graduation period is how, how tasks are graduated from one point to another and to sum up the total graduation period together to get our total task. So that graduation period we use in calculating uh, our company task. So on the graduation period, we all know and you bear richness with me that on the individual side or on the on the company show proprietorship side, we were using monthly basis. But this time around, because it's a company, we are supposed to use the company calculation. That is yearly one. So we assume that. Good. Sorry for disturbing. Uh, in the other one, that is the personal income tax. We all bear witness that here we were using a monthly one. But with the company one, we, used, we need to use the yearly one. That is why the monthly one was. 3, 6, 5, multiply by 12, that is 12 months, and we arrive at this answer. This answer is here. So on this, this figure, 
the government is telling you not to pay tax on this is tax free good when you move to the next call we multiply it by the one 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 zero by twelve and we arrive at this one this one when we move to the next call good so the same thing then we multiply the one one zero by twelve to arrive at this answer that is why we have this one here and then we calculate five percent on this figure to arrive at this the same thing the one ten one hundred and thirty we multiply it by twelve and we arrive at this figure thousand five hundred and sixty and we multiply it by ten percent as the the, the rule says and we make this uh, answer the same thing the same thing then we, we, we multiply the next figure that is the three thousand by twelve we arrive at thirty six thousand that is the thirty six thousand here multiply by seventeen point five and we get this figure then the remaining balance was not up to when we multiply 16,375 uh, 16, by 12. The remaining, our remaining balance here was not up to. So we, we picked all this remaining balance and then place it here and multiply it by 25% and we arrive at this. When we sum all this together, this is the total figure that you'll be making at the end of the year. Thank you all for being with me throughout these studies. I, I wish you all the best. I wish you best in your business and in anything you do. Bye-bye. See me for the next video.